Um, hello, welcome back to my channel guys. I am here today to give you another tutorial and today we will be talking about how to achieve a flawless makeup look when it comes to setting your foundation, your concealer and pretty much the whole face. That's what we can talk about. The first thing I like to do when I, uh, I can either do my eyes before or after, I'm one of those people, depending on the mood, I go for either or. So first thing I like to do is actually apply some lip balm so by the time our face is done, we our, our lips are prepped. I really don't care about this particular brand. It's just that I bought them when they first came out. It was pretty darn cute. So I'm just going to go ahead and use them till I have them. Other than that, I think Chapstick does the job very well done. Navy also has some good lip products as well. And I think that's about it for that part. Uh, so the first thing first, I have nothing on my face. I have nothing. So first thing I like to do is I like to take any uh, makeup wipes or baby wipes and just clean the face after you're done doing your eye makeup or even the excess makeup. I just washed my face before I even came in, uh, came up here to do my makeup. First thing I like to do is moisturize my face. When it comes to moisturizer, I really like to use my Olay All Day One. I just uh, bought their, uh, it's in color, the bottle is kind of pink, breast cancer awareness or whatever, but it's All Day Hydrating Moisturizer and I really like to use that for at night and I can go ahead and show that to you maybe when I do my skincare routine next for you but this is the one I'm gonna go ahead and use today is Olay all day moisturizer this is for normal skin this is actually more moisturizing than the sensitive skin so now when it comes to having a very nice and flawless application you really want to make sure that you take your time with your skin you take really good care of your skin so that is what's gonna really show during your makeup application that your skin is nice and flawless okay so for a flawless application you really want to make sure that your skin is very nicely prepped and moisturized so I went ahead and applied about two to three layers of moisturizer depending on how dry your skin is feeling so it's your preference as to what you want to do sometimes I get even more dry under my eyes I can go for uh, maybe elf moisturizer stick or under eye cream um, I sometimes also like to apply the Tarte oil as well but for right now, I'm going to go ahead and apply my under eye cream as well to give me that extra hydration under my eyes. And this will also help me uh, with my concealer when I'm applying and blending. It will help it not crease because it is nicely and well moisturized. The second step you really want to make sure that you do not skip is the primer. Primer is what's going to help minimize the pores that you may have going on or any of the other flaws you may have. It kind of blurs it to blur your imperfections. So some of my favorite primers are the Smashbox Photo Finish. I also like to use Too Faced Primed Poreless uh, Primer as well. <clears throat> then I also like to use Sephora. Um, mattify primer as well and one of my favorite from elf cosmetics is elf hydrating primer this is only six dollars you guys you probably want to try this one and another one is my favorite is um uh, bare minerals prime time actually i also like to use the ulta fabulous face foundation primer as well this is a very good one as well so today i'm going to go ahead and try this nars radiance enhancing pro prime light optimizing primer sample um this is the first time i'm trying it so i'm not sure how it is and i'm going to go ahead and apply that around my t-zone and i also like to take it around my lip area around the corner because that's where i have pores believe it or not and then a little bit on the forehead and you really want to kind of press that into the skin instead of rubbing it all over like a moisturizer so once you're done with your primer you really want to make sure that it is nice and dry and all blended into your skin I really like this primer it has ooh, okay pure radiance no wonder it has a little bit of shine to it um, I really like that. And all right, the second step is to hide any flaws that you may have. Your Some of the concealers that I really like to use is the e.l.f. Complete Coverage Concealer Palette. I did a small review on it on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me there, please do follow and see how I do it. And then the Balm Cosmetics Concealer. This one is in medium, but although it is medium and it's still a tad bit darker, so I like to use darker concealers to hide any flaws that I have. I, uh, another one, one of my favorite is Age Rewind, and as you can see, it's all out. I probably need to buy another one 
and i also like nyx cosmetics concealer as well the other good ones that i'm really really good fan of i will be showing you my recent haul it hasn't made it home yet but whenever it does i will show you what it is um la girl cosmetics pro conceal concealer these are my, uh, some of my favorites for contour and highlighting mac cosmetics concealer is a good one as well i also like to use elf medium coverage uh, concealer the one in the tube i love the coverage it gives you it's a very nice one as well and if you have really, really hard to hide uh, issues or problems on your skin, then one of the best one out there is Dermal Blend Professional Cover Cream. It is actually a foundation, and for 30 bucks, you will get this big of a jar. And seriously, this can hide. This baby can hide anything everything so please do go and see if you can get a sample before you buy it and uh, i think i got this at ulta first thing i like to do is take any dark concealer or i prefer any orange concealer salmon based concealers to hide any of your flaws uh, that depends on whatever you that is you are interested in i like to use a darker tone concealer and as you can see it really makes a huge difference it hides pretty much everything when i apply and you really want to take a foundation take a generous amount of product and then dab that in and press it into the skin that is the technique you want to follow instead of rubbing it or painting it on so i'm going to go ahead and dab that into my skin i'm going to go ahead and take some more product and i'm going to apply that wherever i feel like i need to um, get some extra coverage i have a very thick hair line over here uh, so i like to hide that blueness that i get from my hair growth and i'm going to go ahead and apply it to my chin area You can use your fingers as well to blend this into your skin or to even apply. Now this right here, I'm just showing you uh, the full face glam makeup routine. You can tone it down wherever you feel is necessary for you. So you don't have to do every single step that I'm doing here. Then take a beauty blender. This one is by Real Technique and I'm going to go ahead and blend this in. For some of you, this should do it. Maybe you can just go ahead and apply some powder here and blush and bronzer and highlight and you're good to go. But I'm going to go ahead and take it to the next level for some of the makeup geeks and makeup nerds like me. And the second step for, from here would be is to apply your foundation. foundation I'm applying today is Chanel and I'm going to go ahead and take that again on the same foundation brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and dab that everywhere on my face. I would love to show you the bottle. The only thing is, this is a sample one. This is the first time I'm applying this one as well. Some of the expensive products, you really want to make sure that you grab a sample to make sure that you're actually going to like it. The beauty blender again, or beauty whatever sponge, and blend this into your skin. I really like the way this foundation smells. I'm liking the coverage, uh, full coverage foundation. So I tried two new things today and I'm liking both of them. What do you know? So you really wanna make sure you press this into your skin. You take your time with each individual step. Everything needs to be well blended. Do not apply a whole lot of product the first time uh, you want to take a little bit at every single step and if you feel like you need more coverage more product once you blend everything together you want to go ahead and then apply a little bit more so say if i were to use any other foundation i'd do the same thing you want to make sure you take your time with every single application get a beauty blender or beauty sponge and wet it squeeze the excess water and then press everything into your skin this will help your foundation last longer look flawless and also to create a very smooth um, skin for you next step is to contour and highlight but for some of you this is it you go ahead and powder yourself bronze 
blush, highlight, whatever not, and that. The highlight, I really like to take any concealer that is lighter than my skin. I like to use e.l.f. Cosmetics HD in. One is e.l.f. Cosmetics Brightening Concealer, and this is the HD Lifting one. I really like this one for highlighting. Then any lighter concealer, like I told you, this one is by Mary Kay, and this one is in, what is the color here? Ivory. And I also have a Physician's Formula. This one is in light to medium. And then there's a Neutralizer by Maybelline Cosmetics is one of my favorite one. So today I'm gonna go ahead and since I've got a heavy duty foundation on today, I'm gonna go ahead and try a very light one and this is the e.l.f. Cosmetics one. And I'm gonna go ahead and, ah, looks like this one's out. That's how much I like this product. I'm gonna go ahead and take very little amount and just did I just say very little amount because you know I don't take anything very little I'm gonna go ahead and apply it just around my corner of my eyes under my eyes I'm not gonna take it all the way out because I really want to mainly concentrate on the center you guys know the drill I'm gonna go ahead and apply it onto my nose If I do miss something, know that I'm not looking into a mirror. I'm just using that small little screen of camera to do everything today. Back with your beauty blender and blend everything in. Once your concealer is done and blended, you wanna make sure that you set it right away. The best product that I can suggest you guys is Laura Mercier that everybody's raving about and translucent for under eye setting area. And then you can also use Stay Matte uh, Translucent Powder by Rimmel Cosmetics. The other one that I would like to suggest is Ben Nye Banana Powder is a good one as well. And a Rice Powder by Palladio Translucent. This one is a good one as well. And I also like Pop Beauty Defender Powder. This is is no show no shine powder I really like the pigmentation of this This is very translucent but it is yellow kind of like a banana powder or Anastasia Beverly Hills um, highlighting powder I love this one as well it's very buttery smooth so I'm gonna go ahead and today use the Laura Mercier translucent powder because I've got very heavy coverage going on and this is a very lightweight I definitely don't want my foundation to cake up on me so depending on the type of foundation I've got going on my skin is how I pick my powder uh, to go for so I'm gonna go ahead and take my real technique setting brush tap off the excess look all the way up and you want to make sure you dab this into your under eye area to set it again we're not blending we're not going in buffing motion we're just going to press 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 the product into your skin and the first part you really want to concentrate is your under eye area because you don't want that to crease up look up again Don't forget your corner of your nose. If you don't set your uh, corner of your nose, that will make your foundation to move through, throughout the day. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set my whole entire face. Uh, if you don't want to do the cream contour, you can go ahead and just move on to this step but if you want to do cream contour do that first you need to set that with the same exact um color powder one i like to use is is the l'oreal true match powder is in caramel beige and this is the one i like to use to set my wet contour cream contour when i use with the la girl cosmetics um espresso or any other product so I'm gonna go ahead and set my whole entire face so I'm gonna go ahead and use the foundation powder foundation powder would give you more coverage so that means you're gonna get a little bit more of a very nice and flawless looking finish than just a bare minimum so if you want to use if so if you prefer a lighter coverage you definitely want to use something that is more translucent 
or uh, just a powder. This one is powder foundation, and my favorite one is from NYX Cosmetics, and the color is um, the color I'm using is warm beige, and I absolutely love this one. That onto my BH Cosmetics powder brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply wherever else we have not set our foundation and I'm gonna go ahead and again press this into my skin you really want to take your time with each individual step I know it's a lot of step when I'm you know going somewhere or unless you're a makeup freak like me uh, you can do it every single time so I'm gonna go ahead and set everywhere else Don't forget to set your um, nose area. I know we set the top part, but we didn't on the side. The next step is to bronze up your face. The bronzer I like to use is something that is just maybe a tone or two darker than my skin tone, like the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. This one is in medium deep. I love this one or the sweetheart ones the soulmate palette from uh, Too Faced I absolutely love this one this is where I'm gonna go ahead and go in a buffing motion I'm not gonna press this into my skin I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the apple of my cheeks and since I like to really contour to make my face look a little bit more slimmer than everybody else you don't have to do it again uh, I'm gonna go ahead and actually do it all around my face you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute once your foundation your powder everything is set smooth as I um, explained to you guys this part will be not a problem at all for you Make sure you don't use a bronzer that is too orange because that's just going to make you look overly cooked and you definitely don't want that. I'm not going to go ahead and contour my face. My favorite product to contour is Elf Cosmetics Contour Palette, uh, the Kat Von D Contour Palette, and Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. Today I'm going to go ahead and use my inexpensive Elf Cosmetics Contour Palette, and I'm only going to take, since we already bronze, I'm not going to use this one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just contour using this one right here, or you can also mix the two together. So I'm gonna go ahead and take, um, this is also an e.l.f. angled blush brush, but I like to use this for contour. Take some product on it, tap off the excess, and then I'm gonna go ahead and kind of take it upwards. Sigma Beauty Medium Angled Shading Brush E70 and I like to take one of these Sweetheart uh, bronzers from Too Faced and I take the bronzer part and I'm going to go ahead and just contour my nose. This is a very good uh, color for my um, nose contour. I really like using it for that. And I'm going to go ahead and take it all the way up to my brow bone. to go ahead and take the Real Technique brush and take any of the highlighting powder. It can be the, uh, and the one I'm using is by Elf Contour Palette and I'm going to mix it a little bit with that highlighter that's in there and just apply that under my eyes. I'm going to go ahead and take a dual fiber F50 by Sigma Cosmetics and I'm going to go ahead and blend everything together. Take any excess product off. This is what's going to make your face less
highlighter, take any favorite highlighter of your choice. I'm gonna go ahead and take Candlelight by Too Faced. I'm gonna mix both of the colors together and apply that to the uh, apple of my cheeks. Oops, before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the blush because I hate it when my highlighter actually kind of goes over my blush, um, my blush goes over my highlight. Since my makeup, since my makeup is on a little bit on the peachy side, I decided to go with the Peach Blush by uh, Lorac Cosmetics. And I'm gonna go ahead and take that on my Echo Tools blush brush and tap off the axis and just apply. And now we can go ahead and highlight our face. I'm gonna go ahead and mix the two together and apply that. I really like this brush for this. This is Crown Brush Dual Fiber Blush Blender C490. You can go ahead and do that in pressing motion or a little bit of the buffing motion, not too harsh. Uh, go ahead and highlight your upper lip, your cupid's bow. So that's pretty much is it for the face. Before I, um, and what you want to do, you want to really go ahead and take a setting spray. My favorite one is Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray or MAC Fix Plus is another one. And I'm gonna go ahead and set my whole entire face. Pretty much shower with it. So this setting spray will not only make your makeup last all day long, but also to take any of that cakiness away that you may have from the applying all these powders on your face. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my under eyes and lips and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so this is actually the final look. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And hopefully I answered every single question. Hopefully everything was simple. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment box below. And if you have any other suggestions, questions, don't forget to ask. Do subscribe to me on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And I will definitely see you guys later. Bye-bye, thank you so much for watching.